happy new year guys i hope you all enjoyed your christmas holidays i certainly enjoyed mine as a matter of fact i left florida for the first time and i experienced snow and it was awesome but guys today we're going to be talking about what it is like living in southwest florida so if you are thinking of moving i'm going to give you some reasons why you should consider living in southwest florida stay tuned okay guys so let's get right into it now when i talk about southwest florida i'm essentially referring to lee county now that includes fort myers fort myers beach lehigh acres cape coral estero and bonita springs now these are the places that we're gonna cover in this video now let's start off with fort myers why should you endeavor to live in fort myers what's so special about fort myers well if you didn't know i'm gonna tell you that in 2020 fort myers was voted the number one best place to retire in the entire united states of america and that is because fort myers is known for its great uh tax benefits the health opportunities the healthcare system is the quality of the healthcare in fort myers is really good and apart from that the cost of living in fort myers is really affordable when compared to other cities across the united states of america so for that reason alone you should consider fort myers let's move on fort myers beach now as the name suggests fort myers beach is essentially a very good tourist area it, it has a miles and miles of nice white sandy beaches and lots of vacation homes. So if you are thinking of either investing in vacation homes or coming to buy a winter home in Florida, Fort Myers Beach is a good place to consider. Now it is a little bit pricey, however, that is compensated for by the fact that you live right next to the beach. All right, what about Cape Coral? Now, Cape Coral is known for the miles and miles and miles of canals that is in that city. So if you are a person who loves boating, you love being on the waterfront, Cape Coral is an ideal place for you to live. And apart from that, even though it is, most of the homes are on the waterfront and you can do a lot of boating, etc. The prices are very affordable. Housing in Cape Coral is relatively very affordable. Now let's talk about Lehigh Acres. Lehigh Acres is somewhere that you should consider if you are looking for affordability. Lehigh Acres is very affordable when compared to lots of cities and towns all across the United States. And apart from that, if you like a quieter lifestyle, if you like big living spaces lehigh acres is somewhere that you definitely should consider you're gonna find bigger lots half acre lots acre lots just bigger lots bigger lot, yard space and it's it's more quiet it's more peaceful and more tranquil okay if you want to learn more about living in lehigh acres and the pros and cons check out my video it will give you all the details all right now let's jump into some statistics i want to talk to you about what is happening on the real estate market in southwest florida what are the prices like what is inventory like i'm going to tell you all about that right now okay so please note that the information that i'll be sharing comes to you from from the florida gulf coast mls now the florida gulf coast mls essentially covers all of lee county including all those cities and towns that i mentioned before including fort myers fort myers beach cape coral lehigh acres estero bonita springs okay all right now the time period that i'll be covering in this video is december 2020 to december 2021 so an entire 12 months worth of data enough data for you to ponder upon and make a decision 
Okay, now let's start by looking at the median sales price in this area in Southwest Florida. Now for the entire MLS, the entire Florida Gulf Coast MLS, the median sales price for the 12 months, December 2020 to 2021 was $355,000. Now that's the median for all the cities and all the towns combined. And that was an increase of 21.6% between December 2020 and December 2021. So what does that mean to you? It means that the housing values have increased by 21.6% in Lee County. So if you're looking to grow equity, if you're looking for somewhere to live, and also somewhere that you know it's a it's a good investment opportunity southwest florida is a great place to consider because the prices are appreciating okay now let's talk about the closed sales for that entire year december 2020 to december 2021 now for the entire florida gulf coast mls there were 46,628 closed sales in that 12 month period. And that was a 21% increase over the previous year. Once again, we see growth, we see movement, we see opportunity. Okay, let's talk about the days on the market. How long do houses stay on the market in Southwest Florida. Now, this is important to you, especially if you are thinking of you might have um, property, own property in Southwest Florida. You might be thinking of selling, or you may be a buyer and you're looking to buy. You want to know how long do these houses stay on the market? Now, the median number of days on the market for the entire area was nine days. Just nine days, guys. So that means that. From the time a property is listed to when it is placed under contract is only nine days for buyers what this means is that you must know that the market is moving very very quickly so if you are someone who prefers to make decisions at a slower pace well you may have to adjust your attitude a little bit when it comes on to purchasing property if you want to purchase something in southwest florida for sellers what this means is that if you put your property on the market for sale in Southwest Florida, it is priced properly, it is marketed properly, it is going to move very quickly. So as we saw, it, houses moved and average remained on the market just for nine days, just a median amount of days of nine days in 2021. All right, let's talk about inventory now all across the united states there is an inventory problem there is a short supply of homes and southwest florida is no different as a matter of fact we only have last year for the entire 2021 only an average of 1.9 months worth of inventory and what does that mean it means that if everything continued at the same pace, if there was no additional inventory added, if there were no new homes added or listed, that the homes that are currently available for purchase, they would have been sold off in 1.9 months. Now that is really an inventory crunch, okay? Now, and it, it indicates that we are in a very strong seller's market because there is a short supply of homes in Southwest Florida. Now, let's look at the percentage of list price. Now, the percentage of list price gives you an idea of what sellers are getting for the homes that they list on the market. Now, the percent of list price is 100 percent what that means is that essentially when a seller puts their home on the market for sale 
they are going to get exactly what they are asking for so let's say for example somebody puts a home on the market and they say i am asking for three hundred thousand dollars on this three bedroom two bathroom home well the 100 percent of list price means that that seller is very likely to get that three hundred thousand dollars for his property now let's talk about the price per square foot the median price per square foot in this area for the entire florida gulf coast mls was $156 per square foot. Now still very affordable. It was 24.8% higher than the previous year. So of course we see that prices are going up. And what that means is that it's an opportunity right now for buyers to, if you are really thinking of buying property and you're serious about it, right now might be a good time to jump into the market because essentially we expect prices to continue to be going on the upward trend because of the low inventory levels that we are experiencing in southwest florida so you don't want to wait until the middle of the year or the end of the year where perhaps by that time housing prices have gone up another 24.7 percent so take this opportunity now to really consider if you want to make a purchase buy a home this year that now may be the ideal time and finally let's talk about shows per listing now shows per listing essentially means how many times is a listing shown before <clears throat> how many times is a listing shown to buyers on average in this area and the figure for that is 8.7 times Let's round it off to about nine times. So it means that essentially for every home that is listed, it will be seen by buyers on average of nine times. Okay, so you see there is a lot of activity. There is a lot of interest in buying homes in Southwest Florida. And fun fact, Florida was the number one ranked state in terms of domestic internal net migration in 2021 now be between july 20 between july 2020 and july 2021 florida gained 220,890 persons and that was the biggest the largest net migration figure for the entire united states of america for july 2020 to july 2021 so people love florida guys and we know we know why the weather alone is just florida is just a great place to live and that was closely followed by texas which had a net migration of just over 170,000 people Okay guys, so that is what I wanted to talk to you about today. If you are thinking about buying something in Southwest Florida or about selling your property in Southwest Florida, please feel free, give me a call. I leave my information in the box below and let's make 2022 a great year. Once again guys, I'm Keisha Metcalf with MVP Realty and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.